If we haven't met yet, my name is Jessica. This is Phoenix, my husband David, and P, short for Penelope. The four of us travel full time with our ATC toy hauler. Our cats are generally pretty well behaved, but sometimes they can be naughty. Phoenix, be nice to her. Some of that mischief can be potentially harmful, and that's what we're gonna discuss, as well as possible solutions to the scenarios I'm about to share. Of course, at any time, if you want to chime in, Hi. feel free to do that in the comments so we can help each other out. One of the bad habits our kitties developed was jumping on the kitchen counter when we're not looking. Phoenix did get special permission to demonstrate for this video, and he's looking a little awkward and confused because he knows he's not supposed to be on the counter. And I did disinfect everything afterwards. Now, aside from the issue of cleanliness, I want to share a couple of dangers as well as some solutions. One danger relates to a cautionary tale shared with me by a fellow RVer. And another one is from personal experience. And this information is not exclusive to cats. In fact, the first story I want to share with you involves dogs. Not these particular dogs, although I do have a great story to share with you about them, but I'll save that for another time. One of our neighbors at the RV park where we've stayed, who I will refer to as Tony, shared a pretty scary situation that happened with one of his neighbors. The short story is that one of their dogs turned the propane on when the owners weren't home, and thankfully Tony knew something wasn't right and turned his neighbor's propane off and let them know as soon as they got home. Now, I wouldn't recommend messing with your neighbor's RVs, but in this situation, it potentially saves some lives. So how did the propane get turned on in the first place? It's suspected that one of the dogs hit the knob when trying to jump up on the counter. This is a scenario that never occurred to me and I wanted to pass it along. Of course, that can happen in a regular home too. For some reason, our cats never had a desire to climb on the kitchen counters in our house. They were actually pretty polite and used chairs. Now let's talk about preventative measures. One of the benefits of our ATC toy hauler is that it comes with a stove cover. In addition to offering additional counter space, it's great for safety because the knobs are mostly covered. I do find that our stove gets used a ton throughout the day. So for us, it's about getting in the habit of shutting it before we go to sleep. If the knobs on your range are out in the open, you may need to come up with a different solution depending on the design of your stove. And that brings me to my next point. If our cats don't have a good reason to jump on the counter, the stove won't be so much of an issue. And what attracts our cats to the counter is the second danger I want to chat about, which is the sink. We usually wash our dishes right away, but every once in a while we'll leave something in the sink to soak. I've actually caught our cats on a few occasions trying to drink out of those dishes, which could potentially be harmful since some foods are dangerous for cats and dogs. As far as solutions go, <laughs> our ATC toy hauler comes standard with a removable counter space that covers half the sink and a drying rack that covers the other half. This allows us to to easily hide any dirty dishes and not attract our cats. You're just too cute. I've seen people using custom sized cutting boards, which is a great idea. And these dish drying racks can be purchased online. I will post a link to one like ours in the description of this video. I do like the idea of this better than a traditional drying rack because it can be rolled up and put away without taking up too much space. And we all know how valuable RV space is. Those are my tips for cat proofing our RV kitchen. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you're curious about how to horse proof an RV kitchen, or you would just like to follow our adventures, Penelope said she hopes you subscribe. Right, P?